What's the next best thing to buttering your corn? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to see if there's anything better than butter to spread on your corn on the cob. But first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by the Amazon Shopping app, which makes shopping on Amazon faster and easier. The Amazon Shopping app offers more benefits and fewer steps. And you know me, I like to do things in as few steps as possible. You know the three-step ladder? Yes. I can do that in two. You know the two-step waltz? Yeah. I do that in one. But is that better? I guess I would have to ask your dance partner. Well, I've also cut out my dance partner. <laughs> oh, well, you know who won't cut you out? Amazon customer service. You can connect with them when it's best for you. Their live chat support is open 24 hours, seven days a week, and once you've started a chat, it stays that way for 24 hours, so you don't have to start your support session from the beginning. And when you've ordered a bunch of sauces and spreads for a very important food experiment involving corn on the cob. Yes. Mm -hmm, it's nice to know you have Amazon support. And you never have to miss a delivery, even if uh, you're at your one man, one step waltz class. Mm -hmm. uh, with the Amazon shopping app, you can get real time tracking and delivery notifications so you know where your package is and when it arrives. And with the Amazon shopping app, you'll also know what it is before you purchase it with full 360 degree product views that let you see items from every angle and view in your room tech that makes sure it fits by using your phone's camera and VR so you can see it in your space. This what? came in particularly handy when I purchased my two-step only three-step ladder. Whoa, <laughs> Yeah. I would like to see this ladder. Well, you gotta look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so click the link below and get the Amazon Shopping app. And thanks again to the Amazon Shopping app for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right. Let's get to the NBTs of the ABCs. Yes, the next best thing to the number one rule that I live by, always butter corn. Uh-huh, I agree, always butter corn. But what if you don't have butter? It's time for next best thing, corn on the cob and butter edition. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. My mouth is watering already thinking about it. Elote, Mexican street corn roasted over an open grill coated with salt, chili powder, butter, cotija cheese, lime juice, mayonnaise, or crema fresca. Mm, that and looks sometimes good. Sometimes people get even more creative with their toppings. Now, that is a lot more than just putting butter on corn. Uh -huh. So if something is already happening in the world of elote, uh, we will not be trying it here today because it's already a thing. Yeah, well, it's all about discovery. So instead, the Mythical Kitchen has paired corn with a series of sauces and other toppings for us to try. And ultimately, we're gonna name which is the next best thing to melted butter. But before we do, Rhett, let's remind ourselves where the bar is set with uh, mythical butter. Sometimes Salty. watching uh, these two boys eat on the show can be a little, you know, off-putting. Visceral? It's gonna get, I mean, watching somebody eat corn, like, watching this guy eat corn on the cob, I just, I apologize on behalf of both of us. Man, it's hard to beat this. How many corns Simple. do you typically eat in a sitting? Um, three. How many do you eat? Um, I did 25 one time. Of course he did. There's not really that much food. All right, that's good. A ain't nothing gonna be better than this. Or is it? Okay, recently we had pickle flavor popcorn on the show. We loved it. We loved well, we it. We loved it. We, we, could, loved we just kept it. going we, on and on We kept going on and on about it. So if we love pickle flavor on corn that's pop, what about pickle flavor on corn that's cobbed? But not pickled. Cobbed. All right, so I got a little extra to put some of the... Yeah, all these have been pre Juiced? What, what is the <laughs> spreaded, juiced, whatever the case may be? But we're you know just to, just to experiment with the application process. I just love any type of thing that requires like it being Handles? stabbed from the top and the bottom and then just rotated in front of your face. Oh, it's like rotisserie. The pickle juice changes the temp a little bit. It cools it off. It smells a lot more than it tastes. Like, hmm. Are you a corn mm. smeller? I'll smell a corn. You, uh, you, listen, I'm smelling pickle, but I'm only tasting corn. You gotta it, smell not... corn before you eat it. Oh, because it can be bad? Yeah, I mean, the only way to find bad corn without your mouth finding it first is for your nose to find it. Did I tell I you smell that? All, I smelled all 25 of those corns. I was like, and you gotta smell every side. Oh, <laughs> there, there. oh, something came out of your mouth and it's in your beard. Good God. No, don't put it on my face. You gotta, it's easy to smell a short one because it's like a typewriter. It is, right. You remember typewriters? <laughs> no, yeah, man. 
We learned how to type on typewriters. Yeah. We we had a class in high school and we learned how to type on typewriters. How are we still relevant? I don't know. If we're not, don't tell us. I think it's a joke by YouTube on us. Pickle juice is not great. It will be dethroned quickly. Hmm. You reach for the butter, but you pull out the soy sauce. That ever happened to you? Yeah, all the time. All oh. the time, man. Traditionally brewed and ready to go on your now, corn on the cob. This feels like it could work because of the salt content. The saltiness. That was a big thing that was missing in this one. I thought that pickles had lots of salt. Me too, but they didn't. Something about the salt got missed. So let's try this brown salty. It's a little messy. See, it unlike butter, it's not viscous. It doesn't want to stay on there, but. It smells but it, good. Yep. Okay. The saltiness definitely works. It's very complimentary again. The amount of soy sauce that you are gonna eat with a. You are gonna eat? <laughs> with a. How much with, you are gonna eat? With a complete cob. <laughs> I'm just putting L's in where oh. they shouldn't be. Oh, you're gonna There's a lot of sodium You'll get man. face bloating. You're gonna get face bloating. Face bloating. Sometimes I have a real salty night. I just, I go so, I go hard on the salt sometimes. Just wings, popcorn, chips, and I'll do, I'll eat it right up until bedtime. And, and, and you wake I'll up be, the next and day. And I'm like, whoa! I look like I've been in a Jake Paul fight. Oh. <laughs> just, <laughs> he would beat the hell out of me. I'll tell you that right now. Oh yeah, he's he's called me many times asking. <laughs> All right, so the soy sauce is going up here. Oh, well, yeah, I agree with that. Because, the I mean, salt. face because bloating is not reason enough I didn't say I didn't like face bloat. <laughs> right, he didn't. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay, now we're going Italian, but we ain't going marinara. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we wouldn't do that. Uh -uh. We're going pesto. And once you go pesto. Presto. <laughs> uh, okay, now, this is promising. I love the way it looks, first of all, because it, it changes the appearance of it. I love it. the way it smells. Now, I didn't really know what was in pesto. I like it, but it's- uh, Leaves. It's oil. Do you know there's Parmesan cheese and Romano cheese inside pesto? I didn't know, that's why no. it's so good. Pine nuts? Pine nuts, garlic puree, walnuts, salt and spice. Gotta get that pine nut, man. And of course, olive oil. I love, I, I'll eat a handful of pine nuts. It's a healthy snack. Don't do that in front of a pine tree. Dink it. Rotate it. I've mm. searched many pine trees and never find their nuts. Have you? You gotta go to the bottom of the trunk and pull. Yeah. No, oh, man. Pull apart. Pull apart some roots. Do That's it. so good, man. It's so good. It's so good. Like, man. surely somebody out there has done this. Somebody's grandma's thought of this. Oh my gosh. This is the discovery moment yeah. <laughs> right here. I'm discovering that this may be better than butter on yeah, I, corn on I, the cob. I mean, we don't have, that's not what we're here to do. It's just, you know, next best thing, but it might be better than butter. I agree. And, and it's got the, we, it has the oil. Oh, we could just do that. It has the like the oil quality that butter brings, but then a bunch of other things happening as well. Pesto! No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm not a cake man. I'm also not a cake boy. But if I know that there's cream cheese frosting on that cake, then I'm gonna give it a chance. Because that's the best frosting. It's the best frosting, so will it work on the cobs of corn? I mean, it looks like butter, so you could you could fool some people. Until they until you did the corn smell. When you, the cob oh, smell, yeah. this is not gonna get past a cob smell. That's right. It's pretty much the first thing I smelled. I don't even think I smell the corn. But corn can be in cake. Yeah, cornbread. Oh man, like it got all over my face. Look away. I don't wanna look. I'm gonna hide behind my corn. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna lick some of this icing off. Okay. And call it, call it a loss. Hold on, hold on. now. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's definitely not better yeah, than that. Yeah, we but, know that. But let me just, just for the, those of you that are interested in trying it. The fact that you said corn cake, which makes me think of, you know how some, there's two types of cornbread that people make? And some people make a really cakey cornbread. Yeah. And it's really sweet. And, and some people make a hard fried. Like a fry bread type thing. It, this has the same taste profile as a super sweet cakey cornbread. Yeah. It makes it interesting and worth trying if you're just getting experimental. You know, I, if you're having one of those experimental nights, getting real salty, uh -huh. waking up with bloat face the next day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do actually. If you're gonna wake up with a bloated face, you might as well go all in. I like the fact that you wanted to give the cream cheese its moment. Yeah. You did. Well, I have a deal with cream cheese frosting. 
Okay, so we already took the train to Italy, but now we're getting on one of those Leonardo da Vinci helicopters and going all the way up to Alfredo. I don't think it worked. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, because he had to make that noise the whole time in order to make to to, to propel it. Alfredo saw. Are you Alfredo? Uh, uh-uh, I'm not afraid though. No. Oh well, that that passes it, the smell test. It really does because. Ooh, that's good. It kind of has this. Uh, I feel like I'm about to turn, buttery. turn away from y'all to eat this one. <laughs> I don't want to be a meme. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that, that's good. That's good. But Alfredo just does not have. I thought something was going to come out. I was either going to die or something was going to come up. It's, it feels Neither a little, happened. It's a little too uniform of an experience. And it it just, uh, I mean, it doesn't have the punch of the pesto. Right, yeah, you're not getting the The, the pesto pain. punch, that pine nut punch. Get punched in the pine nuts, man. But if you do happen to only have Alfredo sauce. Yeah, give it its moment. And you've got your corn, just dip your cob in there. See what happens. Rhett, give it its moment, McLaughlin. Add it right. again for the loser. <laughs> Cacao! We got the mole <laughs> with the cacao in it. Now there are elote recipes that ha that call for mole, but they're cacao-less mole. It's not really what we think of when we think of- Because mole just means sauce. Right. Chase just said that. That's to, right, to me. he did. In my earpiece. No, no, ear, oh, no earpieces. No. Okay, he says a regional word for sauce. So this is pretty good though, because this is cacao-full mole. Now I love a, just a mole. It, it, I'll get a mole if they've, if they've got it at a place. Mm. Oh gosh. And you know when you eat corn, you see it later. In your dookie. Yeah. Don't want to talk about that when we're eating. Do you, is that what, are you, is that what you thought about when you saw mole? Yeah, huh? yeah. Did I tell you that I saw a bald eagle yesterday? What? Yeah, I search them occasionally. You sure it wasn't a vulture? No, it had a white head. You didn't hold your arm up and wait for it to land on it? It was a long ways away. Mm. Missed opportunity. This is good. It's good. It's not pesto. Pesto is going to be hard to beat. I predict it's going all the way. This is also good. The thing I'm learning about corn on the cob is that it's quite a nice little canvas for all types of stuff that you can find in your pantry. Yeah, I completely agree. The corn taste is like oh, the corn is like it's like that friend that you can just bring along for anything. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. It's like, They're not going to get in the way. Can we bring John? Uh, we might end up with face bloat later. Yeah, he loves face bloat. Right. Bring him. Right. It's his favorite band. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think we're developing some sort of corn on the cob party type thing where everybody brings their own topping and we're happy. Yeah. And we're happy. We're very happy. But it's not going on the on the pedestal. The cob stops here. Boom. With a sauce from the Philippines. Okay, banana ketchup is dyed red to resemble tomato ketchup, but it does not contain any tomato. It's oh. made of bananas, sugar, vinegar, and spices. I like the sound of that. But, it, but I, you're not a I banana a flavor duped. guy. I feel a little duped. Oh, what a weird smell. It's, Corn and banana. It's tangy. They're it's both yellow. Do you do you keep some of this in your um in your fridge? Not that I'm aware of. Maybe we but should. But I got stuff in there from like seven years ago, so maybe. Well, if you, my wife keeps saying we gotta get rid of these condiments, and I'm like, you know what? You're right, but no one does it. As long as you agree that it needs to be done, that's when I feel like I've accomplished something. Here we go. This maybe maybe this will help with cramps. Why did you make me think about that right before I bit into this? I meant leg cramps. Oh, <laughs> I've lived with a woman for 20 years. When you say cramps, I'm not thinking about leg cramps. <laughs> I've also lived with a woman. <laughs> Apparently, you're not as attentive as I am. <laughs> uh, this is this ain't bad at all. It's I, crazy how good all this stuff man, is. Man, we sell this stuff? Mythical banana ketchup? Yeah, we do. Um, th this needs to be in, in, in every pantry. Oh, I was trying to figure out why it had such a ketchup-y taste, but it, I think it's the spices and the vinegar. The vinegar is really what's doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. The banana this is, is really good. actually really subtle. I really like that. I That'd know. That'd be good on French fries, man. Uh, well, if it's good on corn, I don't and know. They're made out of corn. I mean, there's no way it's gonna it's gonna beat the pesto. No, the pesto is a revelation. I, I just think that pretty much everything, with the exception of the. The the frosting I and mean, the frosting. This was right. I mean, let's be honest. It so wasn't great. so we are saying officially, pesto needs to be your go-to next best thing. 
to butter if you're not thinking about elote, which is still absolutely amazing. But we're saying unofficially, you can put anything on corn. It's it's the as it's long the, as it's not. Poison. It's the food vehicle of choice that no one knew about. Corn. Huh? Corn. Get it in your mouth. Put something else on it. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Elliot. We're from Christchurch, New Zealand. And we just got married in the rain. <laughs> And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Uh, that's, is that a good omen or a bad omen? It's a, it down there in, in uh, New Zealand. It's, it's a great omen. A great omen. The Congratulations. Angel, the angels are crying tears of joy. Click the top link to watch us determine whether or not butter makes all food better in good mythical more. And to find out whether the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. I revisited my first grade drawing of Link and now it's a t-shirt. Get the Link by Rhett Redux tea now at mythical.com.